If you want to know how did I create a beautiful photo slideshow like this, then make sure you watch this video till the end. And the software which I have been using for this is Mubavi software. So let's begin. So I'm on my Mubavi home screen. First thing is you'll have to get some images. So you'll have to go to this first icon and from there this first file import option. From here you'll have to click on add files option which will give you access to all your drives. So you just simply need to drag and drop the file like this. Once you upload it, it will come in the media bin. So first things first, you select all the clips together, press control on your uh, keyboard and select all the required clips and drag, drag them to your track. Keeping them selected, come to this dotted uh, properties option, clip properties option and here you can change the duration. I will keep it for 3.5 seconds. I will have to simply right click on them, copy it and paste them, keep the playhead at the end of your last clip and right click and paste it here. Select all first four clips. I should be using these clips as my background. Go to this last icon, all tools option. From here, go for this pan and zoom option, right? Now select the first clip separately, go to the zoom in option and just drag and drop them on the clip. You can scale it up by dragging this bottom left hand side scale. Now you see there are two keyframes added. These dotted things are called keyframes. Now first thing is you'll have to keep the first keyframe at the beginning and go to the second keyframe and select it like this. And then you'll have to enlarge this dotted line which is a guide for you so that it is very close to the first keyframe dotted reference line and make sure you just place it at the middle uh, center of the main screen by seeing this grid this crossed grid line coming at the middle so once you're satisfied make sure the last keyframe is at the end of the clip same way let us do once more with the second clip i'll have to just select the clip it will be having a dotted yellow line around it and then I'll have to just go for this zoom in option, drag it on top of the clip, keep the first keyframe at the beginning and second keyframe and the first keyframe should, keyframe should be my reference. So I will just keep it little smaller than the first keyframe and position it at the middle seeing the grid line coming right so and place it at the end, at the second right hand side edge of that clip. Same way I will be quickly doing, doing it for three more times. Now, next part, how will I make this background blurred? So I will again select all these five clips and then go to this second filter icon from here, this blur icon and here I use intense blur. The filters which you would be frequently using, you can keep this heart sign on like this. It will become red and that will come in your favorite section here. Right click on this and apply to selected clips. So it will be applied on all these five clips together. If you want to check the blood effect is added to all these clips, then you just need to go to this star and see there is a, a blood intense is added to all these clips. You can check it from here, right? Now, you can change this parameter uh, more than 20%. This is the default default percentage given by uh, Mufavi. You can change it to any percentage you want. But for me, 20% is all right. Now select all the other clone clips and just place them on top of these clips. Just place them from the beginning till the end. You will have to go to this overlay section. You will, it will automatically see, get picture to picture overlay selected. I need to just make it little smaller like this and center it as per the guide coming and go to this effects option once, once again and go to this vignettes effect and take vignette for effect for all of these clips. Just right click and apply to all selected clips. Now let us see after playing, how does it look like?
so i will just close it i'm well satisfied with it so i will keep all these four clips selected once again and i would like to give a beautiful transition in between so what i'll do is i will go to this third third option transition and from there i will go i will search for zoom category of transition i will come downwards and i will give this zoom in and zoom out transition here so same way right click and add after all the clips if you want to change the duration then you need to select right click and you'll have to go to transition properties and from here you can change the transition duration and then apply to all transitions now for me two seconds is okay so i'm not going to make any changes as such only thing is that i will remove the last clips last transition because there i am going to give a fade out effect so for that i will just select the last clip and i will go to this clip properties option and give a subtle fade out for 0.50 seconds now i will come to the next layer and i will give another kind of transition fade transition and this cross fade effect works really well so again right click and add to all the clips and just remove the last one okay once you are done with this now you will have to put that cherry on the top of the cake by adding some beautiful mild background track for that you can add any track from file import option and add file option but i have already taken a couple of it so i will just drag drop it to the audio timeline and just give it a slit by right clicking on it and split and remove the extra part of it now a couple of adjustments for audio i'll have to click on this go to this clip properties option you can reduce the volume to any percentage let me reduce it to 50% and then you can give it a beautiful fade in of 50 seconds and 0.50 second and fade out of 0.50 second and this is the final masterpiece so how was it cool wasn't it so this is how you can create a beautiful and simple slide show with the help of still images if you like this video please make sure you give me your thumbs up like and comment me and let me know what exactly you are looking for for the next for my next tutorial and do let me know how you used this trick if you are a new visitor to my channel please 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 do subscribe to my channel and comment me and do let me know how you are finding my content because this is a small channel so far without your support i cannot thrive and i cannot progress in youtube thank you so much i will come back with some fun tutorial next week till then stay safe stay legendary